So today I'm going to share with you a full tutorial on Node video text editing and animation. So let's first start with the basic text layer. Before I dive into the animation property, I'm going to give you a quick guide on how the text panel works. The fun option lets you change the look and style of the text. The custom option is where you can add your own text font. The text option allows you to edit and type in your text. The size option allow you to adjust the size of the text if needed, and as well as adjusting the amount of space of the text. The animation preset allow you to add quick animations like fade in and jump animation. And here's how it looks when it's being applied. And next, the jump animation preset. Selecting high render option adds more graphics and quality to the text layer. The fill property is where you can customize the color of the text. The type contains other color options, like the gradient type that enables you to add multiple colors to the text. You can also change the direction of both colors to horizontal or vertical. The texture type allows you to add image or video inside the text, creating a more cinematic looks. The style property gives options to add more style to the font text. Simply turn on the outline to add a stroke to your text. You can customize the color to your desired look. You can also add glow to the text to highlight it. Adding a shadow to text creates a realistic look and adds depth to the text layer. The bevel option also adds depth to your text, giving the text appearance a 3D look. You can use the margin to balance your text position or organize it. Now that you are familiar with these text properties, let's move to adding animations to text. To animate text, go to the text effect property. So let's start with the text animation property. If you're new to the Node video app, you might notice the text isn't displaying animation. That's because you'll need to add animation template to activate it. Now that we've added the animation template, you can see the animation now displays properly. The direction controls the first appearance of the text animation. Tweaking the evolution property displays the text animation. The typewriter types out text character by character. You can add startup effect like blur, glitch, and glow. Here's a review on how they work. The start and end property controls the speed and timing of the animation. The animation type offers several options where each text type has cool custom animations similar to those in After Effect. You can always explore the remaining types to find the one that matches your style. The Based On option allow you to animate text based on individual characters, words, or lines. So let's take a look at their differences. Up the of a broken... Tweaking delay can help control the timing of the text animation. The curve option help you to create smooth text animations by selecting the right curve type. The pivot allow you to set the position 
or angle where the text animation begins. The axis controls the direction of text movements, rotations, and scaling. You can also choose to tweak the rotation movement to add more style and animation to the text letters. You can always add more tweaks to the options below to create more styles and animation to the text letters. So let's create a simple text animation to demonstrate these concepts. You can also add more text animation templates by clicking the New Animation option, creating a second animation template provides more control to add and adjust text styles, colors, and animations. Now that you have a better understanding of the text animation properties, let's move on to the text warp effect. This feature allows you to create a specific path or shape where text moves in motion. You can draw your path or shape by adding control points. The stretch feature allows you to stretch text around the path, enabling rotation within a circle. You can also use a custom shape to create a quick text animation. You can adjust the size by clicking the path property and tweaking the scale. You can also rotate the shape to your desired setup. The offset feature allow you to adjust text alignment on the margin line. You can also use the phase to control text movement and animation. So let's create a simple animation using these features. Enable the circle property for continuous rotation. And lastly, enabling the warp direction allow you to change the direction of the curved text. Now let's move on to the circle text warp. This text effect type allow you to rotate your text in 2D space and the radius controls text size. Finally, the countdown effect displays a numbering sequence where the end number option sets the final number, the progress controls the speed, and the pad zero option changes the number format by adding zeros before numbers. As a bonus tip, I'll quickly share how I created this text animation. First, I went to the effect store, selected nature, and added the new river reflection. I tweaked the horizontal line to adjust the reflection position and also adjusted the perspective to create depth on the flat surface. I blur the edges to enhance reflection. If it fits your style, you can enable ripples or light effects to enhance the text look. Next, I changed the river type to C and made some minor tweaks to the distortion. Finally, I added some animation to enhance the text's appearance.
So I believe with better compositing, you can use this text effect to enhance your video project when needed. So kindly drop us a like button if you find this video helpful. And until next time, peace. Thank <laughs> you.